My name is Rahul Rao. I am from Mumbai and I am a lecturer at Mumbai University Department of Pali. So I am happy to be at this retreat of Dhamma Sukha Organization and Samatha Vipassana Trust for this 10 days, which I have learned a lot of things in this meditation of Metta meditation. This class was very much energetic, which gave me a lot of answers through my thoughts step by step. And having a class together, uh, sitting in the class, understanding, making notes, this gives an idea how the education has to be implemented in the Buddhist structure. Do you think it was valuable to learn more about how mind works so that you could deepen your meditation? Did it help? Certainly, it surely helped me. And uh, the reason is that how to deepen the meditation, because what happened when we learn about meditation, it is only at a superficial level. But when we understand at a step by step, uh, getting into the ocean, drop by drop droplets, this makes how to concentrate and how to be perfect on our path. So, was it helpful to ask questions during this class? Because I heard they lost, asked a lot of questions, did they? Certainly, unless and until the questions are not been asked, we don't know what thoughts are running in our mind. And we get distracted or we get diluted with our own study and own uh, work. So if we, when we ask the question, we get proper answers to it. And if there is something missing, the person, the teacher can get us, path, get us back to the path towards. And did, did you understand the topics that were, were woven together for you in the class? Certainly, the, uh, the topic was very helpful for me as I already learning Pali for more than 10 years. So somewhere the technical words which was I was missing out from almost around 5 to 6 years, these words gave me the help of you as a teacher and the other monks helping me out to solve the technical queries and making more understand the deep end how the Buddha was speaking to his people and to the monks. That sounds good. What did you, what did you enjoy most about this method of teaching? Uh, the most thing I uh, was interesting about the six hours, especially because whenever I was uh, getting distracted and I was, again, was getting confused how to get to six hours in a synchronizing way. So there I learned to learn that first how to be relaxed, be uh, first to get released out, be relaxed and be calm and then work upon the studies back to our work. And what did you, um, would you encourage such a course for other people to take? Do you think it's a good idea? Certainly, I will certainly request everyone to be part of this uh, meditation course because everyone is in, in the context of stress and due to the pandemic situation which we are going through from past two and a half years, somewhere we are locked inside a room and when the metta is taken up on our body, our mind, we will certainly bloom ourselves as a flower and spread a nectar of fragrance towards all the people around us. Sounds really good to me. You have any personal comments about any of the teachers or anything like that? Did Certainly. you have Did you have fun? Is the big question here. <laughs> I had a lot of fun because interacting with one of the renowned scholars and renowned teachers, and also understand the true technique or the essence of Buddha. The Buddha taught us this teaching, which was directly transmigrated today in a particular synchronized way, and this made me thought that we should ask our teachers, especially the monks and the nuns in what way they are teaching to us. This teaching will certainly <coughs> boom us or get us to a path, a gradual learner and this gradual learner will certainly boom into a perfectionist later on. Did you have enough fun that you think you might keep doing this at home and use it in life? Certainly, I will be having fun because unless uh, everyone want, want, to have, want to smile and smile is like a medicine or an antidote for every person. So when I smile, I make the people smile too. And if they are in pain, that pain will release itself if they feel the smile. So smile is like a hug for everyone. Thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome, I appreciate it. Uh, my name is Ekita Jahande and I'm from Nagpur. And I have done a B and I'm as, uh, working as a software engineer in uh, Pune. Fantastic. Did you did you like the class? Was do you think it was a good idea to have this kind of a class? Yes, definitely. It was a very great and a very beautiful concept while uh, we are meditating. So smiling it's helped me a lot. And was it valuable to learn more about your mind, how it works, and so that you could deepen your meditation and maybe help relieve suffering? Yeah, definitely. 
minds, uh, when we uh, uh, meditate and uh, we uh, learn how mind is working and how we are uh, facing challenges in our life, so how we can solve them. So uh, we learn them and yes, it's helpful, <laughs> very helpful actually. And would you say, was it helpful to ask questions, to be able to ask questions in class if you had questions? Yes, uh, definitely it was a wonderful concept. Uh, uh, while uh, having a question, we saw our doubts, how uh, we are progressing and how we are losing somewhere. So we grow and learn new things uh, faster than ever. And did you understand the topics that we were talking about, how they were weaving together in the teaching? Yes, I uh, deeply understand the topics while uh, the, uh, you taught us and the uh, other uh, translations will help us uh, very deeply understand the concepts. Did you like listening to the suttas? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Good. yes. Okay. What did you enjoy most about the method of the teaching? Yeah, I will say uh, six hours is my favorite and I love the part uh, sending six direction uh, metta. That is my favorite one and that's yeah. great. And would you encourage other people to do such a course like this? Yes, I will. I will encourage my friends and family member and who is in uh, trouble and facing some problem. I will encourage them to have this course and at once in lifetime so that ca they can smile in their face and uh, let it go their troubles. Let go of the past yeah. troubles, yeah. I know what you mean, yeah, yeah okay. And, and um, <laughs> do you have any personal uh, comments about what, how this went for you? Any personal comments about the way yeah. that the course was done? Yes, yes, I have it. Uh, firstly, I will thank you that this wonderful concept this retreat gave me a very uh, uh, positivity and encouragement from my deeper heart and also I will thank you so much sister <laughs> that you are okay. let it go and zao there <laughs> and never mind things, things I never like whenever I face something sadness and something trouble I will uh, un, uh, no. call them Recall your memories that never mind and I never go. mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Let go, I, relax, I, smile, come back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I and I will face my problems happy. Oh, smile. Good. Okay, very efficient. Yeah, okay. Sadhu, yeah. yeah. sadhu, sadhu. Vandami to the venerables. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Samir Jadav. Uh, I come from Mumbai Jewish team, <coughs> married, uh, uh, I have a daughter. And uh, uh, by profession, uh, I am an uh, insurance guy. Did you feel like this class was a good idea? Past uh, last two, two, uh, two and a half years have been totally tanked. And there had to be an uh, euphoria of, uh, you know, enthusiasm, something to look upon, uh, you know, back there uh, with the family, things would be all right, you know days are looking great ahead and uh, coming here was a was a great decision uh, absolutely and it will help help me in the long run I'm, I'm very confident about it that's great was it valuable to learn more about your mind and how it works that uh, that would deepen your meditation but also help you have less suffering you think Mind control has always been uh, a challenge, uh, professionally also. I being a salesperson, a sales executive at uh, various levels, right from grassroots to the CEO level. So mental framing or mind control was always a challenge. But uh, after I came in uh, connect with uh, the department of Pali and you know, learned teachers like uh, Meghaji mm. and Dr. Yojana Bhagat, uh, and then my exposure with MBRC, uh, yes, mind control was not a challenge or it did not seem to be a challenge anymore, but on of uh, being a human, uh, there were tendencies. But then I attended uh, your uh, Sunday special at the uh, Mumbai University and one thing which, which really striked and which really made a difference for me and for the likes like me was, uh, 
the comparison between uh, breathing and uh, metta and uh, how effective you know uh, metta can be relatively to the existing other uh, conventional uh, meditation modes available and uh, uh, i i took this advice very seriously i wanted to explore the options ki uh, does this make sense so i travel to uh, uh, breathing uh, meditation center uh, for 10 days i was there and my experience was good but uh, no, i could have been treated well over there not as a slave uh, with a bell and uh, uh, you know uh, no identity there at all but uh, uh, following the metta techniques uh, online also and i uh, did practice it religiously for the last 3 4 months i did find uh, a difference uh, things have started looking softer for me uh, the connects which were hardened which were hardened uh, they are somewhat softened uh, optimism is there and uh, uh, you know uh, things at my family front also uh, are, are 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 really good are really better so It's making a yeah, change. Yeah, so it that's is. Really it's, it's, it's definitely working. It's that's, definitely. That's wonderful. Was it helpful for you to be able to ask questions in class? I am a I am a fast learner also, but uh, I I am a person who never say no to a training. So an interaction has always helped me in a training. But uh, honestly, in in this particular ten day session, there was not much room for me to interact because the syllabus was uh, occasional and it was you know collectively composed in such a way that there was no margin for you know uh, question because the interaction and the total ambience and uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, the participants' energy was as such. Uh, to, there was not much scope for uh, interaction and whenever i had some doubts i had some doubt i always looked upon uh, learned uh, kantike ma and uh, the mangaveshi and i got a solution for that instance so, so you liked having the interviews on a daily basis uh, but you liked having the the interviews on a daily basis that was the, that is the usp where i i i was waiting for you to ask me basically at the entry level there was no selection bias unlike other meditation uh, here i did not find any selection bias at all because if anybody and everybody was welcome for this meditation and the hand holding that the daily interviews which were happening uh, and the pains which both you uh, venerable stuck to understanding them the learning the involvement the conviction and uh, a solution also to you know uh, you could you did not uh, you know uh, digress uh, kind of a, a thing into a problem you you understood it and you eliminated it then and there so you know every day was a value add unlike uh, you are at the, unlike uh, the conventional uh, meditation form every day here the 10 days every day uh, was a value add because of uh, this uh, interviewing process or you spending time and understanding and hand holding <coughs> each of us to go to the next level so i think that uh, that makes a difference that 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 really makes a difference and uh, conviction and the comfort uh, it checked well enough okay um so did um, what did you enjoy most about the method of the teaching the method of the teaching was uh, uh, it was it was a practical uh, approach practical. Uh, okay and there was no uh, snobbishness or there was no difference between the trainer and the uh, yeah. you know there was no like, like you know the there was no glass barrier as such yeah. uh, it, the atmosphere was very open uh, in fact uh, the host or the management of jetwan uh, the bansors ensured uh, you know we i traveled a distance of more than 1000 km so so this is more like you know home uh, you know and they ensured every every comfort of ours and 
accessibility, uh, you being at the helm of the training, you were accessible, uh, whenever Dhamma Gavasi uh, was always accessible and in fact the host of the chairman of the trust, uh, Sri Bansod was uh, available and uh, his family also was interactive. So, I think, I think uh, this is a winning team and uh, you know, I have got a lot of uh, good uh, memories mm -hmm. and uh, they say Buddhism is all about transformation and uh, in the last two and a half years, uh, my friends, my boyfriends, my girlfriends, everybody has said, I have transformed. <laughs> my daughter says, Papa, you are, you are now a better person. So, you know, that has been in us. But uh, uh, jokes apart, I am a very religious and pious and I love my wife very much and I love my family. <laughs> but uh, in the last 10 days, in the last 10 days, there was an incident uh, uh, and, uh, and, and it came from other part of the world, it came from Bombay, uh, you know, this thing, this metta uh, meditation, uh, it, it, it is really wonderful. It is somebody. Uh, it is somebody was impacted. It was a question of life or death. And uh, without uh, me soliciting or putting words in the mouth or anything, suomoto or silo or you know uh, the message. And we all, all mm -hmm. uh, this metta really one works wonders and uh, works very fast. It's so really you know that transformation was uh, evident in the last. Uh, in these last 10 days. Would you, would you encourage other people to take this course? Why shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Unless they are not my business competitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could let them have to. <laughs> Remember. So, so I am not that uh, wholehearted. So, uh, my, my insurance contemporaries, uh, you know, because uh, this, this would uh, this would definitely accelerate my performance. Yeah. Uh, definitely, and I believe nothing but economics. Uh, so <coughs> definitely, but uh, I would definitely recommend this to each and everybody. And one step beyond this, I would uh, like to have these camps in cities where you know where people need or you know where uh, where this can be well received and uh, enacted, and the importance is felt. So I think uh, my commitment to Pali is there and uh, my commitment to uh, Vipassana, the uh, smiling meditation and uh, Tim Khanti Kema and uh, Dhamma Gavesi Vandeji. So my commitment to, uh, would stay there. <coughs> yes, okay. I, I, I would. I would. That yeah. is one way I would reach out to people. So you gave us, you gave us some good comments. Did you have fun? Is my question. Yeah, that, that, See, that's, that, that's where I'm coming to. That's it. Yeah. Generally, what happens is you pull yourself to uh, you know sessions like this. Yeah. You the first day or the second day, you know you are at the top of the world. The third day or the fourth day, your energy levels drop. But in this case, it has been a reverse. <laughs> it has been a reverse. Yeah. You know, when I came from Dhamanda to. Uh, this place in a tuk tuk, which took me two and a half hours. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, you know, I had a baby on my lap, and uh, his his mother also. You know, that is how it was. I was cramped, and I came here, and I said, "Yeah, I I don't know where I have come." And but once I entered the Jaitwan gates, I met the Bansod, and then uh, personally, uh, I met you. So. Uh, Getting up or you know coming to the morning session was uh, I, I I was willing I willingly came I willingly, I did not drag myself I did not drag myself so I think this is one uh, one compliment which I think uh, you made it uh, you made it very interesting uh, uh, my my compatriots my companions made it very interesting so never did I drag myself. Uh, to this session. I always wanted to be the first one here and to be the last one out and uh, every every minute of it 
I cherish every I, minute of it. I, I'm thinking Dhamma gave you mm. good energy. Pardon? Dhamma gave you good energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dhamma, yeah. Dhamma has and given me that's good energy. Dhamma, Dhamma does work. I, I believe that. Dhamma, if you work for Dhamma, Dhamma works for you. So, I've been working for Dhamma and definitely Dhamma will work. Sadhu. Sadhu. Namodasa Bhagavato Arhato Sama Sambuddhasa Mandami Mante, Mandami Sister uh, My name is Megha Bhavra Thayde I am from Ulasnagar, uh, Mumbai and uh, I am uh, working as an assistant professor at the Department of Pali, University of Mumbai Thank you. So did you feel like this class was a good idea? Uh, yes, of course, this, this is an amazing class because first of all, it covers Buddha Vachana. We are directly learning from uh, Thi Pitaka, that is Majjhim Nikaya. And you are, you are reading the entire sutta exactly as they are given by the Buddha, word to word. And th those words we are actually experiencing while sitting, so it's amazing. So, was it valuable to learn more about your mind and uh, so that you could deepen your meditation? Yes, learning about mind so minutely. I never have, never ever anybody has taught us how to see mind so minutely. So many little, little details we could trace now about the minds. I feel little more because in the last treatment I was not able to understand what I need to see, but now I. I could always remember that example of tuning. <laughs> <laughs> tuning. Yes. tuning. Okay. So was it was it helpful for you to ask questions in class if you want you had questions? Yes, really. It is great because why? Because from our childhood we are been uh, so scared to ask questions in our class because here it is uh, it is uh, in our class it is believed that whoever asks questions he does not he has not understood the concepts. So many of us are always reluctant to ask anything freely but here the concept is ask question the person who asks question is actually an intelligent person so that motivates people to ask more and more questions so this this is a great idea and also many people are uh, reserved and they are unable to ask their queries so asking a question in the way to write in a paper without names this enables people students to ask everything freely without any uh, reluctance uh, from anybody so this uh, idea of asking questions isn't mine. I want you to know that that's the Buddhist in the Chula Vibhanga it's Sutta. Really yeah? great, really great. So in that section, he's basically saying you need to ask questions yes, so you yes. can come back really smart, smart. Yes. in the next lifetime. It's really fun. Okay, so um, did you understand the topics that were taught and how they were woven together? Yes, this time I do <coughs> understood it very clearly because I was... <coughs> Earlier I thought this translation may uh, hinder my process of meditation or I may get tired. Yes, it was uh, because I am not used to it, but this translation has actually helped me to mm -hmm. practice my meditation more perfectly because I was sitting close to you and I was so alert and aware because I had to pick each and every word that you were speaking so that I can communicate <coughs> with my colleagues so that they should also get that benefits that I could get. So I was very aware and alert and that made me to stay aware and alert. My mind was completely there. So that made my retreat more uh, good and effective. That's really great. <coughs> so um, what did you enjoy most about the method of the teaching? Uh, first thing is Sister you. I like you very much. I love you. <laughs> the way you are. Uh, the way you teach. I. Uh, the way you, the energy, the, your energy is amazing. We can't uh, compare our energies with you because I have heard uh, colleagues are saying when you were translating, sister was so active, but you were going down. I, I, I said sister's energy, I cannot match sister's energy. So <laughs> the first thing is that you, because of you, we could be uh, awake every time, every time. The way you move everywhere, everywhere, you cover everything. So it is amazing. And second thing, while meditating, I do remember two things which help me most is never mind and let go. What, whenever hindrances come, I say never mind, okay, and I let it go. It happens, it actually happens, these two words are magical. That's really good. Okay, would you enjoy such a course, would you encourage other people to take such a course to help them in life and, yes, in, and yes. in their, in yes, their I've practice? I've already started, yeah, I've started with my family, 
I tell them to keep smiling. Whenever I see they are sitting like this, I say smile. Even if they like, even if they don't like. But I make it a point that everybody should smile and it creates a good atmosphere and positive atmosphere. And I encourage my students also. And everybody I meet, I, out of compassion I feel, oh, I, if I am getting this, they should also get this. Mm -hmm. Now, personal comments just about the way it went for you, like teaching. Did you yes. have fun is the one thing I always like to ask people. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Really great fun. <laughs> and then, um, did you, any personal comments about anything? Uh, as you know, sister, I've shared everything with you. You know everything. So many of things, many of my obstacles, where I was stuck, what I was going through, you know everything. And I'm really surprised that I could come out of that. It was very difficult because, yes, I was practicing meditation earlier also. But I was never knowing what is going wrong. Why it is not, why why still I'm stuck, why it is not moving ahead. Mm -hmm. After metta meditation, I think when you came to department, that time I realized this is, I think I should do. And when you came to Yavatmar, I requested Yojana ma'am that I want to do this. Whatever be I want, I will take holidays, I will cover up everything. And I, when I came here, it was really amazing and it really helped me to release and relax. The release and relax step, it's really uh, uh, life changing. Life changes, actually life changes. The way I was, I have changed completely from my mind. The thought process has changed. I know now what is the right action that I have to take. You know, it, it, it is not necessary to exert every time. It is very simple and understood. The things, we make the things difficult. Our mind makes the thing difficult because we are taking it in a wrong way. If we just slightly change, it is very, mind listens to us. It is a, yes. So it's opening a communication yes, yes. system. It has opened the communication yes. system. That's yes. great. And yes. blessings for you. That's very good. Uh, First of all, uh, my name is Shubham Mohor. Uh, basically, I'm from Karanjar Lad. Uh, Actually, I was working as a business development associate and two months before I resigned from that. Um, did you feel like the class was really a good idea, the way that this was done? It was really great. I, I'll say great. And was it valuable to learn more about your mind and how it works so that you could deepen your meditation? Yes. So it you was... increased a lot? Yes. That's really great. And was it helpful to ask questions during class? This was a really great idea because uh, I was asking a lot of questions <laughs> and you are answering me each and everything. Like, we <laughs> sister, <try>. is, <laughs> sister is really precise. Like, once I made a mistake, like, I, I give wrong definition of delusion. You correct me in the next day. So and that then, was really great. So you got the answer as to what it was yes. to right? That's cool. And was it helpful um, to ask the questions and oh, I asked you that. Did you understand the topics that were woven together? Did you, was that helpful to see how all the information about the Buddha was woven together? Yes, Lying. yes, it really helped. Especially the technique, like uh, you said that there are two types. Like first of all, you have to purify the mind. And second one is to retrain it. And uh, this is possible with the help of 6R, which, which was a really great idea. So right effort's a good thing. Yeah. Really. That's good. And uh, what did you enjoy most about um, the method of the teaching? Uh, especially the relaxed state, Pasambayam. Mm. It really relaxed me. And so it helped you to go deeper? Yes. All right. Yes. And would you encourage such a course for other people who are working with their meditation? <coughs> of course, in fact, I made a list and I just started calling all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I hope they try it. I hope they do. Yes. And do you have any personal um, comments that you want to talk about? Yes, yes. So, uh, like Retreat. once uh, I heard that uh, hindrances are the best teachers after the Buddha which was a great uh, sentence and I experienced that in this retreat one day. Mm -hmm. Because whenever there were hindrances, like they, they were teaching me, they were helping me to go uh, in deep. Did you learn about how the hindrances were working? So that, yeah, and then you could let them go? Yes. Fantastic. So thank you for your comments. Do you have any personal comments you want to talk about the retreat, how the teaching was done or anything like that? Uh, actually, I, I really find it really helpful. 
I'm really happy, grateful and contented for each and everything sister you did for you as well because it really changed my life. I <laughs> I, I can't express some things uh, in, in words. Marathi to her, she'll tell me what it means. <laughs> He's telling he can't express Oh, words. express okay. what it is in words, it's okay. But it really helped your life, that is fantastic. I think that's because, what uh, we... I'd like to add one thing, like yeah. before this, I was doing my plain meditation, Vipassana, one point concentrated meditation, when I was very serious. I was like thinking like when I'll be deep in meditation, I have to be very serious, but which is not the fact. And here you taught me how to smile mm -hmm. and smiling really helped me. What happened when you smiled? Like when I smile, uh, I don't know exactly what happened uh, in, in my body, but uh, it relaxes, like it makes that negative mind positive and uh, all the negativity goes off. It's good. I hope that you continue with your practice because you've really done it well in their trade. It's really been happy to watch you. Thank you. Definitely 100%. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am Dr. Moti Kapoor Mani Kartnamu. I am from Samrat Ashokanagar, uh, Highway Road, uh, Vardha. And I am doing uh, uh, as an assistant professor in the Department of Human Rights in <coughs> School of International Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. And as in the uh, last 10 years I was, work, I was working, I am working as a uh, national convener of Indo-Japan International Peace and Human Rights Mission for to spreading the uh, message of Buddha for peace, international peace. <coughs> the importance of human rights. Fantastic. <coughs> yes, Thank wonderful. You Thank you. Um, and did you feel that this <coughs> class was a good idea? Uh, it was a good idea. I remember my primary uh, childhood uh, education at the time. <laughs> <laughs> teacher, teach that. Take this, take this seriously. Take this seriously. And your character is that in that life. Yeah. Teacher. <laughs> Sauda. Yeah. Sauda, you the and you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was, was the class, was it valuable to learn more about how mind works and, and that you could deepen your meditation, uh, so that you could deepen your meditation and get less suffering in life, was it helpful? Yes, before that I practiced with uh, Teluke Bodhama Sangha for uh, Anapansati, but I, at that time I don't know about what is the uh, Vipassana, and there are some misunderstandings in the Indian society. The Vipassana, uh, Vipassana stop the revolutionary person, this, uh, disturb the revolutionary person and some ideas. And uh, uh, he, uh, then after that, <laughs> what, what is the result that? Because there is lot of the injustice in Indian society. Therefore, we experience that. But Vipassana is very <coughs> useful for the concentration of mind. Mm -hmm. And mind is control of the bodies and activities. Therefore, we want to what is the importance of mind mm -hmm. for the universal development of the Buddha's philosophy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it helpful for you to be able to ask questions in class? Yes, yes, that was very useful. I asked many questions uh -huh. in this, and you give the uh, very good answer because you are a good teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, did you understand the topics that were covered in the class? Did you see? Did you like understand how they were connected together? Yes, yes, yes. Stuff? It is good for this. Uh, it is the symbol of equality. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, and what did you uh, enjoy most about the method of the teaching? Yes, most of, most about the method of teaching. You uh, actually you guided uh, all these uh, Majib Nikaya. And uh, some persons are there are difficulties for language barriers are there. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, uh, did not understand English language, okay. and some persons are under, uh, did not understand uh, Hindi language. Therefore, many times you use uh, uh, yes, she is also translation best translation. She is trying for this one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it's mega uh, Yeah. And, uh, and uh, according to your face reading, Uncle Ji, um, more Uncle Ji talk about that. Your face expression is uh, all this symbol, all this hint for the, what you um, what you say about the topic, the serious topic of meditation. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that the teaching skill was very, very 
clear. Uh, was clear. Yes. That's what that I need all to know. ideas are available. That's yeah. the best thing we need yes. to know. And um, would you encourage such a course for <coughs> other people to come yes, and do yes, this it kind is of my, It is my duty because of the disciple of you, uh, uh, Sasana Deepika, uh, <laughs> Venerable, uh, Venerable uh, yeah, <laughs> Anti Khema, and uh, uh, Venerable uh, yes, Dhamma Gavisi uh, Bhandeji. So it is my responsibility there to spread the, this uh, meditation message to all the person. Therefore, uh, I motivated uh, many people because I have strong public content as a social activist, as a journalist, as a, the emancipator of women's rights. So I am working this one. Yeah. Okay. Would so you would. So do you have any personal comments about about this? Um, that suggestions or comments about it, the way the retreat went. Yeah. Uh, very, very thanks to first Vaibhav. Uh, uh, Vaibhav is my uh, yes, maternal, maternal nephew. And yeah. then uh, uh, also very, very thanks to Honorable uh, uh, Ramesh okay. Bansur Sahib, who is the trustee and the motivator of the Chetvana Trust. Mm -hmm. And also very, very thanks to Samatha Trust, mm -hmm. <coughs> Samatha Trust, uh, uh, Dr. Cherekar sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, also both of you, we, because of your teaching, <coughs> we uh, catch the knowledge, uh, many, lot of knowledge, so therefore we will thank this one. And there is some comment that uh, this place is a very motivated place, so therefore we want to, uh, we want to di directly contact with the people mm. uh, for the motivation of mm. the Buddha's philosophy, ideas okay. and these principles. Okay. Yes. Fantastic, thank you for your help. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. My name is Prashant and I am from Pune. Uh, I, I am an engineer and uh, uh, I have been working in the area of uh, IT. Okay. So, um, can you tell us in your own words, did you feel like the class was a good idea? Yes, uh, certainly. I think uh, having this class uh, is a wonderful idea uh, because uh, uh, this particular class and uh, uh, retreat, uh, I, I found was a uh, simple, a very light mood, in the very light mood, and yet it is very profound. So, if I if I recollect my earlier my, uh, uh, retreats and then compare this technique, this particular technique, twin and the six R with that uh, course, the uh, actually these retreats are tend to be more focus on uh, you know, more efforts, more efforts, more efforts. But this particular uh, uh, method is, I think, uh, uh, very uh, light and very profound. That's so good. I find it very useful. Was it valuable for you to learn more about how the mind works so that you could deepen your meditation? Did you sit longer or did you deepen your meditation? Yes. Uh, to learn more about your mind and how it uh, plays the games or tricks you to distract your attention from the, the work or the meditation which has been given to you. Uh, it certainly helps and uh, as a warning sign and the teachers always uh, uh, during the daily interview they interact and let us, uh, the student uh, warn them. So it helps to do the meditation. So was it, was it helpful for you to be able to ask questions during class? And Yes, so during this class, uh, when uh, we are practicing as a student, uh, sometimes we get to tend to go away from the path and these uh, sort of questions uh, which... Uh, Keep your eye. Uh, the questions, questions <laughs> which helps to uh, uh, get on the track. So you got answers to the questions that you wanted to know before. You didn't get questions, but now you got answers? To most things, you understand. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. What was it helpful? Um, did you did you understand the topics that were taught and woven together? How everything fits together? Yes. Yes, certainly. Okay. Yeah. And what did you enjoy most about the method of the teaching? Uh, regarding method of the teaching, certainly as I uh, mentioned before, it's a uh, simple. Uh, and yet profound uh, way of uh, teaching this meditation. 
uh, and uh, which is very helpful. So would you encourage um, such a course for other people to do this course? I'm going to recommend uh, this course to my uh, friends, acquaintances and relatives uh, who, are, uh, who have already taken some of the courses and now I would like to uh, tell them, try this out. This is such a profound uh, method. Uh, my big question to everybody is, um, you know, did you have fun? I certainly had fun. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun, okay, because that helps us to be light when we're learning. Do you have any personal comments about the retreat? It's an amazing retreat, actually. Everyone should, uh, whoever is interested in meditation and Buddha's teaching, they should all come and try this out and just uh, enjoy. <laughs> Good, thank you very much.